Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace members of the Royal Family Council who extended to him sincere congratulations on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him many happy returns, abundant health and happiness, and further growth and prosperity for the kingdom. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Sir. His Majesty the King congratulates the citizens of the Kingdom on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. And the Minister of Interior chairs the Civil Defense Council meeting and affirms the importance of general preparedness to deal with all threats and dangers. Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace members of the Royal Family Council who extended to him sincere congratulations on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him many happy returns, abundant health and happiness, and further growth and prosperity for the kingdom. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Majesty the King extended uh, would or exchanged with the Royal Family Council members Ramadan wishes, thanking them for their noble feelings. He also expressed sincere congratulations to the citizens of Bahrain on the occasion wishing the kingdom and its people as well as the Arab and Islamic nations for their prosperity, safety and well-being. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received as Safriya Palace Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya Zainat and Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh, who extended to him heartfelt congratulations on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him many happy returns, abundant health and happiness, as well as further growth, security and prosperity for Bahrain. His Majesty exchanged Ramadan good wishes with the Representatives Council Speaker and the Shura Council Chairman, thanking them for their noble feelings marking the occasion. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to them and to the members of the Shura and Representatives Councils for their national stances and dedicated efforts lauding the pivotal role of the legislative branch in serving at the development march, boosting the democratic approach, defending the supreme interests of the nations and achieving citizens' aspirations. His Majesty reviewed with the Representatives Council Speaker and the Shura Council Chairman local issues including the latest developments in dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. He praised the continuous contribution of the Representatives and Shura Councils in supporting the national efforts to handle the pandemic, stressing the kingdom's ability to overcome challenges with strength, determination and collective uh, cooperation. The Minister of Interior and Chairman of the Civil Defense Council, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the Council's meeting, which was held remotely with the participation of the Minister of Oil, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Minister of Information, the Minister of Water and Electricity Affairs, the Chief of Public Security, and the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for Environment. The Interior Minister welcomed the members, noting that the meeting comes within the framework of studying regional 
risks and their potential implications on the safety of citizens and residents, as well as plans and measures to protect public safety. The Council was briefed on the results of the emergency meeting held by the National Committee for Disaster Response, headed by the Chief of Public Security, and examined the repercussions of the incident at the Iranian nuclear facility, Nat Nat or Natanz, and uh, the negative repercussions it may have on the, the health and safety of citizens. As the Chief of Public Security noted that the Council is studying the importance of general preparedness of strategic uh, stockpile and the formation of a team to review procedures and launch a media plan to educate the public about radiological accidents. For his part, the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Dana, stated that no radioactive danger to people or the environment has been detected within the borders of the kingdom or its waters, uh, territorial waters, due to the remoteness of the Iranian facility and its distance from a connection to any waterway, affirming that all precautionary measures have been taken to monitor any pollution and radiation and to deal with such incidents. The Civil Defense uh, Council chairman noted the importance of maintaining the level of general preparedness and adopting the necessary procedures to protect the safety of citizens and residents from all threats and dangers. He also noted the importance of studying the preparations of uh, various authorities in terms of speed of response and the ability to work within the framework of a system of cooperation and coordination to contain any changes. The Council also discussed private and government shelters to be a part of future residential projects, along with the consciousness raising measures among citizens and residents in the event of the occurrence of potential circumstances in order to carry out safety measures as per the required technical standards. The Minister said that this is a part of the overall strategy to deal with chemical or nuclear pollution incidents and also to follow safety measures and affirmed the importance of updating the strategy to deal with such emergencies in a speedy manner in accordance with the regional circumstances. For his part, the Minister of Works said that shelters will be a part of the standards for constructing new buildings, while the Minister of Electricity affirmed the importance of reviewing the plans collectively to ensure a speedy response. The meeting concluded with the Minister of Interior thanking the council members for their cooperation in the interest of the health and safety of all. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Saudi Finance Minister and Acting Economy and Planning Minister, Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Jadan, co chaired the first meeting of the Economy, Energy, Trade and Industry Coordination Committee of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council. The Finance Minister stressed that the steadily growing, strong, deep rooted fraternal Bahraini Saudi relations are based on solid foundations of partnership and joint coordination at all levels, affirming that they are a model to be emulated. He highlighted the fruitful outcomes and distinguished cooperation between the two brotherly countries as a result of the unwavering interest of his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the Holy, Holy Mosque, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He affirmed that Saudi Arabia is Bahrain's largest economic partner thanks to the well established relations resulting in numerous joint economic and trade initiatives and projects that have contributed to supporting their economic growth. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed the main initiatives and recommendations on which the committee agreed agreed, as well as their implementation mechanisms. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, urged a full compliance with the decisions and directives issued by the National Medical Task Force for combating COVID-19 to protect public safety and support efforts to curb the pandemic and reduce infections. The Minister stressed the need to adhere to the recommendations of National Medical Task Force for combating COVID-19 and support efforts to ensure safety during Ramadan by avoiding gatherings, Ramadan banquets in public places and the distribution of iftar meals in the streets, urging zakat collection kiosks to be replaced with online platforms. She underscored the importance of continuing cooperation and coordination with relevant authorities and working with a one-team spirit to protect the safety of people and the homeland. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 573,564 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 415,799 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 17,357 with 1,209 recoveries, 1,060 registered new cases and two deaths. 335 of the new registered cases and expatriates are 693 are contacts of active cases and 32 are travel related. The ministry expresses heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.